All right, so for this first game, all you're going to need are some Jenga blocks. And so Audra is gonna be our first one to give it a go. She is gonna see how many Jenga blocks she can form in a row and lift up at the same time. That may not make sense right now, but just watch her example and we'll see how many she can do. All right, so she has three. Lift it up. All right, do you think you can add another one? And whoever has the longest row will win. It's four. This gets harder as it goes along. Do you think you got it? All right, so you had five. It's pretty good because you're five years old. All right, up next, Ezra's gonna see how many he can do. Do you think you can beat five? All right, let's see. All right, there's three. Four. Gotta have steady hands. Five. You don't have to do it too fast. Ah, uh, so six. All right. All right, do you think you can make it to seven? Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right, three. Four. The great thing about this game is you don't have to be fast, just slow and steady. Close call on four, but he rebounded. Five. Gotta have steady hands. He's gonna try six. All right. Let's see if he can do seven. Getting sweaty, You're getting nervous. Oh. All right, so for this next game, all you're gonna need are Jenga blocks again. These boys have 15 blocks in their baskets, and the goal for this game is to set up all 15 blocks as if they are dominoes and then knock them down. The first person who gets all 15 up and knocks them down and all the blocks fall down in a pattern will win the game. Are y'all ready? On your mark, get set, go. You gotta be fast and strategic in this game. Oh. Okay. Make sure you space it out right, too. It's gonna be close. Oh, and no one. All right, so we've got another round that's about to kick off. We've just used 15 as a number. If you have more, you could even do 100 each if you had enough. But today we're just doing 15, so are y'all ready? On your mark, get set, go. Uh oh, you're gonna have to move a little faster, Audra. Oh, and Ezra's the winner.